Hey there guys and welcome back to Get Going Fast, place where we're getting into this excellent AI hobby in a quick and efficient manner in which you might actually learn something. So we are looking today at Flux Crea, the new Flux model that focuses on photo uh, focuses on photo realism and uh, high aesthetics. So it turns out that everyone's talking about what's going to be the next Flux killer and it turns out the only thing that can dethrone flux is flux itself so it has definitely improved a lot of um what you might know with the older models um is that when you get them sometimes they look a little bit plastic or you start realizing that the people all kind of look the same over time and this model has incredibly improved upon it now these are a bunch of just kind of base prompts that i threw in there these aren't highly detailed uh prompts but you get the picture here that um it really takes away a bit of that plasticky feeling a bit of that uh generic flux look that um, we all kind of got used to so the new flux truly um truly um an improvement on what they've done so i think you guys are gonna be very happy this is the new flux some of the we'll talk a bit more about this um we're gonna move forward but before we do that i want to thank you for liking the channel and subscribing um telling people about the channel you know when you get an opportunity you're in any kind of group and they're like is anyone else like to share just stand up and be like um yes i'd like to share about get going fast and ai and what do you guys think about that uh, and then show them like some cool photo of a cat that you generated and I appreciate you doing that That's very good of you it helps to spread the community and gets people involved in what we're doing um, People really think that that's cool and very normal thing to do. So thank you for doing that All right. Well, we're gonna move on with flux Crea. Like I said the new flux model and uh, I'm gonna show you how to get this uh, Downloaded okay where to get the workflow really easy guys and uh, we're gonna do it now. So let's get to the doing yo Okay, so as we were saying here, uh, Flux Crea is the new Flux model. If we pop over here, uh, you can actually do some generating um, for free online. Usually these things aren't that great. Like they give you like one or two images and then you're out of credits. But um, the good thing is we can download this stuff. But essentially you're going to see the same thing here. Uh, open source model for producing aesthetic and photorealistic images. So they've released the weights uh so that you can um actually create your own stuff with it create loras and um, derivative checkpoints so um why use flux crea it's a state-of-the-art open source with an emphasis on aesthetics photorealism unlike other models flux crea was trained on hand curated high quality training data to deliver the best results okay and it actually is really good as i showed you some of these other things, but um, here's the thing. Let's get it installed. We're gonna install this into our Comfy UI. Um, we'll uh, we'll start with that. As of right now, I do not have an install for you uh, for SD Forge, but again, those are the things that are probably going to come um, around with time. So just be patient with that, and uh, SD Forge will probably go ahead and update that for you. But let's go ahead. What we want to do is we want to get over here to the uh, comfy blog here so what i'm gonna do is do a search for flex crea and i'm gonna type comfy uh ui and we're gonna look for this okay it's got the nice blue thing there so you can see it the blue icon i'm gonna click that it's gonna bring us in here and kind of the nice thing about this stuff again is we don't really need to go to the github repository we don't really even need to follow these directions all we really need to do is get the um, the workflow okay and they're giving us the workflow here in this image so how they do it is they embed the actual data inside this image and all we have to do is drag it into our comfy UI and it's going to show us what we're working with and um, and then that of course will show us what we need so let's go ahead and open up your comfy UI and then we'll drag this in Okay, you're gonna notice here my comfy UI is open. I already have uh, it open, but let's let's say that we we're gonna do this like this anyways. If we go back over to here, just click this. You can't see it, but I'm dragging it over here, and then you just drop it in, 
and notice it'll open up a new a new thing for you all right and because they've labeled this nicely this is why we don't have to go to any other page it's going to show us everything we need here now notice this is for the fp8 models which is which is fine um it's going to be what we need there are also good guff models that i'm going to show you here in a second um but the fp8 is going to work great for most of you out there so um you'll see over here we got our load models and it's already put in there um to show us what we we go this is why we just load the workflow and it actually shows us what we need right so we don't have to go anywhere else if i clicked run and i didn't have these models these would all turn red and then i could be like oh i could go through each one of them but again all we got to do is just click on this okay and it's going to bring out um a download screen okay and then you just go ahead and you're going to put this in your diffusion models page which looks like this so it just pops up here you go into your comf ui folder and then you're going to look in okay so this is outside this is where your comf ui is installed you go inside it then you see your models folder and then you're going to have a folder called diffusion models so you just click it there and then that's where you're going to save it okay then all we got to do is pop over to the next one here and um now look it says if you need the original weights you can head here and get the dev so that's the full weights that's like the full quality thing but guys we're not gonna be able to run that it's gonna take forever to do you don't need it okay if you have high vram you can play with it but um you know the fp8 is like a quarter of the full and the fp8 will you know take you a little bit of time to run you don't need to run the dev and i doubt you're going to be able to so we're not going to worry about that all right so instead we're going to go down here uh, and if you wanted it it was there instead we're going to go down to our text encoders if we've already done this for other apps we pro or other models we probably already have these but if you don't same thing you're just going to click it okay it's going to pop up to a place now here it says if uh it pops us over to hug and face so you need to have an account just click on the download and it pops up one of these things this time we're going to go to our comfy ui models and we're going to put it in the clip folder okay so you got your clip i okay and you'll press save and it will go ahead and download it all right so then we click bomb back over to here and then we do the next one now you can choose between the fp16 or the fp8 so if you're having a hard time with speed you can choose one or the other okay the fp8 might make it go a little bit faster because it's you know it's a half of the 16 so you just same thing just click on it brings up this this time though we're going to go back to our models and we're going to click it in the text encoders folder okay real real simple and then the last one we grab this ae.safe tensors and again you should already have all these downloaded if you've done anything but it's fine if you don't well, then we're gonna go back to our models we're gonna put it in the vae and we're gonna go ahead and save it now when you go over here you'll see this little image here this shows you your uh the hierarchy of your folder system so remember we start with comfy why that's where we installed we went inside of it into this models folder and then you see that this line here that means uh it's going here and then this is a subfolder diffusion models and a subfolder of models is text encoder so you can see here where everything is supposed to go okay now this says notice this one kind of breaks the line that's just because it ran out of space there so don't worry about that you can see there's no line there so that's just carrying it through in fact if we go like this yeah you'll see it there all right so you can always follow this if you get uh confused so let me see if i can get this out of the way okay then we go over here and um it comes with a pre-prompt it's going to be the picture of that nord that nordic gal there with the blonde hair and you have all this stuff now you're going to click run okay and it'll go ahead and run it but um sometimes these things don't show up okay uh sometimes like because it 
it assumes a certain position in the file structure. And if your file structure is a little bit different, sometimes you'll have the model, but it won't show up. So all you got to do is click on it and re-choose it. But what we'll do first is we reload, get the new models in there. You know, so we refresh it after download. Then you can click on here and you can go down and find the one that you need. Okay. And everything will be great. Notice your width 1024 by 1024 starts at steps of 20 so if you want to get into high quality stuff you go go to steps 30 40 50 takes longer of course but a good place to start is steps 20 that's a good that's a good starting area okay um notice the config is at one flux always runs at that cfg of one all right and then now it's got a seed here so it's going to be getting the same thing each time you probably want to set this to random. Oh, no, here it is. Actually, it has a number. I'm sorry, I'm being silly. It has a number, then down here it'll randomize it. Okay. Um, so every time you run it. But anyway, so there you go. That's as simple as running that. You just go here, get the workflow, grab these things, put them into the correct folder, and you're off to the races. Okay, really not that difficult. And great models now if you want to do it a little bit faster again you don't want to deal with your own structure we have over here at the get going fast site page get going fast pro we have the model we have a model manager over here for you so um, with this you can also download the ggf models uh, which i'm going to show you how to do here in just a second but you can download the ggf um, give you a whole list of what you want you can delete them if you want uh, it just helps to really manage you can find the ones you want there's the fp8 models that you can uh, that you can choose between get your workflows so this all happens over at uh, you can get this off of get going pro let's see where i put that at here you go so if you're a member a farmham member you can just get this for free and then you just you're off to the races okay or you could purchase this as a one-time buy if you want but you might as well just join and get it um but okay really quickly let's look at how to run the ggf models so we're going to pop over to another browse uh, another tab and what we typically do is we just do a search you can generally assume there's going to be ggf models so we'll type um flux crea and we're going to type GGUF. And usually they'll pop up a few different options for us. Okay, flex create GGUF. Okay, I'm not seeing anything here that we would never want. Oh, here's one from Invoke. We can try that. Um, you can also type Hug and Face. See if that helps. There's some there. Brought up Aura Basis, Flux Crea, GGF. Quant Stack is typically, he does really good stuff. So let's uh, click on Quant Stack stuff. Okay, so same thing. File versions. There you go. Now look, he's got all of these quants here. And so we can just click and download the quant we want to say. So if we're having a hard time with the FP8, say your, your video card isn't handling it. Go try the Q5 KS, and if that's too slow, try the, K, the Q4 and move your way down. If they're moving fast, you want higher quality, move it up the scale. But all you got to do is you just click it um, like this. Let's say we click it. It's going to do our whole uh, bring up a save thing. And this time we're just going to put it in this folder called UNet, okay? And, uh, and then we'll have access to that. Now I'm going to show you how to uh how to get this working with your workflow and to do that we just go back to our browser and notice it's running off this this load models here so we just want to go up here and go right click go add node and we'll scroll down and you're going to see one here that says ggf so we're just going to click that and then click loader okay there you go and that's going to load up all of your different um your different um ggf models okay now it looks like i don't actually have one downloaded here but um i could go back and actually download that one but it doesn't matter you'll find it in this list you'll see this list all your models you'll pick it okay and then all you got to do 
is replace this purple line. See how this low diffusion model has this purple line that goes from here to here? All we're going to do is replace it like that. Okay? Simple. Now, if we run it, it's going to run off of our GGUF model instead of our diffusion model. If we want to go back to trying this one, all we got to do is change that out like that. See how simple that is? And like I said, you go to here and you can uh, just pick each one of them that you want. Just say, try one, get them, uh, and then refresh, and then you can try them all. See which one has the best quality, okay? Uh, you know, quality versus speed. That's really what you're going for. Uh, at least that's what I'm going for. I tend to go towards, um, I want to go faster. I would I'm willing to downgrade uh, quality for speed, typically. Um, but it's a balance. I don't want garbage, right? You can go fast and get garbage. Well, that's no good, right? But um, you get your production level. You get say, this is the level that I'm happy with. And now let's optimize the speed towards it. And that's the nice thing about working with these GGF models is it's easy to do that. But you do need to do some management of the models because they will end up taking up your whole hard drive, which again is why um, it's good to, you can actually just, again, go over to getgoingfast.pro and um, you can get the FlexCrea uh, uh, model manager and then we can actually, from there, uh, where did it go? Here we go. So then from here, you can actually, like I said before, you can install and delete these different models, which just make it uh, work that much faster. It shows you what you've got installed, then you can delete them. Let's see, I'll just click the one, and then now I've reallocated um, that space. Okay? Very cool stuff, very easy stuff, very fast stuff. Flux Crea, the new Flux model, Black Labs has done it again. Like I said, turns out the only Flux killer is Flux itself. So you just can't compete with Flux. Flux is the highest quality there is. There are other models out there that do um, other things. But for photorealism and just high quality stuff, Flux is the way to go. Okay. And, uh, and when we get into our image to video stuff, high quality video or imagery is really good. So Flux is your new best friend. I think you're going to like Korea. Uh, easy to get going if you can get the workflow on there and get your comfy UI. We'll be keeping our eye open on a Forge to see when it's going to be. Um, they will definitely just bring it in to be like a normal part of Forge. Same thing, one, uh, two GP, it will be there before long. So within a few days to a week, guys, this will be everywhere. But this is the way to get going now with your comfy UI and Flux Creo. So you guys enjoy the rest of your day. We will catch up with you later, and, uh, you know, as usual, come over to the Discord and share what you made. We'd love to see your safe for work stuff. Come find us on the uh, over at Reddit. We've got a Get Going Fast channel. Welcome to come be part of that. I'm looking for mods over there that want to help build that up. Glory and fame. I can't offer you much other than glory and fame. Um, and, uh, you know, you can find us on the Instagram as Cognibuild, and you can find us on X as the Cognibuild. So. All right, you guys stay good, and we will catch up with you on the other side. Yo.